The Assignment of the Queen of the Coast Against Christians, Series 1 The following vision account of the demonic mission of the Queen of the Coast was unveiled and composed from the vision given to Sister Rachel Michela Chisolo, Sister Zipporah Michela, Brother Emmanuel Sampson Jude, Reverend Emmanuel Amos and I, Brother Richard of Ghana Divine Revelations, and Pastor Dr. D. K. Olakoya. The Queen of the Coast is one of the dreaded demonic evil spirits or fallen angels that was cast down from heaven with other legions of fallen spirits due to their sinful rebellion against God Almighty. Revelation 12, 7-9, And there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him, however, after this great victorious triumph by Archangel Michael, and his co-warrior angels, the kingdom of darkness still thinks that it can prevail and find itself back to heaven, perhaps set up her throne above the stars of heaven, but unfortunately that hope was thwarted by our Lord Jesus Christ's death. And Resurrection Isaiah 14, 13-15, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation, in the sides of the north, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, I will be like the Most High. Yet, thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit, after this glorious victory by Christ, all their hope and belief were shattered, and was utterly devastated, the Lord God Almighty pronounced his great judgment upon as it was written, Revelation 20:10 and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night for ever and ever, hence, the queen has always tormented the world, due to the unconditional love God has towards his creation. The only way to afflict and cause God to regret for casting them out of heaven is by imposing severe attacks against the world, causing the world to embrace sinfulness and forbidding them to serve the only true God and their Redeemer. Nevertheless, the Queen of the Coast is in charge of the marine world, where she currently pitched her throne and her kingdom is already overflowing with blood of the saints beneath the deep sea. Below is a true unveiling vision, attesting of the demonic mission of the Queen of the Coast against the Christian Church. The Queen of the Coast appears with great anger on her face. She said, what a great loss, we have failed, fifty people is too much for just three years. What a great calamity. In the last two years, we had a great loss because of what that righteous man is now doing, we need to act fast. Out of the 1.2 billion of souls who died in the last three years to this time, close to fifty people have made it to the kingdom of God excluding children, how come? This is a great loss for us, and it shows that our performance is very poor. Lucifer is very sad about this, and we all need to act fast before things become worse. Now I'm sending you into the world and I need a good report back in the next six months. Whosoever fails to achieve his or her task, should consider him or herself dead. As you all know, there is nothing like mercy in our kingdom, a little failure, count yourself dead. Now look at the screen, there are three categories of people on it. 1. There are some people walking naked without any clothes. They belong to us. They are those who are yet to accept the righteous man in their life. They are been chained to one religion view and another. They are the ones we will use for celebration, after our victory, we will eat their flesh and drink their blood by December, and use the remaining blood to prepare more lipsticks, jewelries, and cosmetics for the foolish women among them. 2. Those ones you see putting on white shining clothes. They must be pulled down fast, because they are Christians that have not given their life to prayers and fasting. 
they hardly read or use the word. So we can still get them easily. 3. While those putting on white shining clothes but shield with consuming fire, and have been surrounded with fire, invisible Holy Ghost fire, that we can see, but are invisible to the human eye, are extremely dangerous. They are prayerful Christians. When we say yes, they say no, when we build, they destroy, if we close they open, when we bind they lose, they are mad people, and they are the ones disturbing our kingdom, once any of them fall into your trap, kill them quickly. You can see what happens to those who allow the captured ones to live. They had been captured by that righteous man. Now that righteous man has forgiven them and they will start raging war on us again, moreover, see how they are exposing our plans, powers, and tactics, and now sharing their previous miserable experience in the kingdom of darkness to the world and many are been converted due to their testimonies. Go and seduce them and get them empty, cause them to be wrenched with pain, regret, confusion, and make them poor. Go and program poverty and wretchedness upon their life and househood. By this, they will compromise their faith and standard before God and backslide, immediately, don't waste time, but strike them dead, and kill them quickly before they think of repenting or amendment. Go go go. Go into the church because I have now found out that some youths have started giving their life to that righteous man, even more than adults, and they are our target. Moreover, that righteous man is really using the children and the youths to gain more souls for his kingdom. He keeps on exposing some of our secrets through visions and dreams. Many of them are now afraid of hell. Some of them are even on Facebook and we must act fast. Go to the church and make them fall, go to offices and make sure they lust after you. Give more bribes. I'm sending you into the universities, polytechnics, college of educations, disguise as secondary school students, and let those Christians teachers and youth corpor lust after you. Once they have sex with you once, place your tube on them, they will never get tired of having more sex till we finish their blood. Our time is short, no time to waste. There are many youths among the evangelists. I hate them and I feel like killing them right now. But they are shielded with the power of that righteous man. They are very hot for that righteous man. Go to the Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, YouTube, Internet, and many multiple social medias across the globe with many pornography images, and pretend to be a born-again Christian to request them. But make sure your profile pictures are very seductive. When they see your picture, they will lust after you, and I will make sure many demons of immoralities work with you. Once they gaze on your pictures, these demons will remind them of what they have always enjoyed before that righteous man set them free from us. We need to begin their downfall from their heart. Go to banks, markets, offices, schools, streets, and make even the customers lust after you. Make pornography movies and pictures free on internet, even when they open Christian's web page on internet. Make pornography advert show on every page they open. If I find out that any of you ever walk on the streets, putting on clothes that cover your kneels, consider yourself dead, remember I killed Jakea for that. If I find out that you ever go out of your home with your boobs and bosom covered a little bit, you are dead. Remember I killed Kakatika for that. If you ever walk on the street with no seductive movement, I will kill you. If you go to churches without your laps and boobs outside, I will kill you instantly, remember I killed Agwana for that. Soon the dumb masses will love your dressing and copied your style, years to come, they will start walking on streets without any clothes not even a pant. Remember how we captured the Americans, and other European and Western countries, which are the heartbeat of most sophisticated organized and civilized countries in the world. Almost all their names had entered into our book of death. 
the Great Britain, United States, France, Brazil, Germany, Russia, China, and the rest of them, now belong to us. We have legalized abortion, prostitution, and other various forms of immoralities, sodomy and finally gay marriage had just been added to our achievement. All praise to our Prince of Darkness, our Lord, and Wisest One, Lord Satan. I have given you enough power and cosmetics to make even women lust after you. I've given you enough training. Those powders I've given you are very powerful, use it, and souls who refuse to run into the secret place of the Lord and live under his shadow, will lust after you. This powder is the ashes of those who fail the task I gave to them. If you fail yours too, you will be grind into ashes. Go to higher institutions, target those Christian brothers and sisters who serve the righteous man wholeheartedly. Make friends with them, visit them at home, try your best to always be around them. If possible, do his or her domestic job for them. Find a way to sleep in their house, from then, you get them, they can't escape, ha 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 ha. I'm sending you as a flood, to work and win souls for our kingdom. Our time is running short. That righteous man will soon come and harvest them all. And that will bring the end of our fun and aims. We need many souls as soon as possible. Go, kill, and create terrible havoc in Christian homes and churches. Since many churches across the world have already been captured, and majority of them are been led by our agents. Go and cause those righteous pastors to stop preaching about salvation messages. Even when they preach, let their messages appear as enticements and fun. Cause their members to sleep during those sermon messages and make them to lust after earthly glory. Lay it upon their hearts to believe that the world ends here. And concerning their women. I am going to give you all special charming compelling and enticing powers, that will lure their women into worldly dressing, makeup, painting, body beautification, and wearing of trousers both in their homes and church, and will make them to believe every word you uttered. Tell their women, the importance of exposing their hair uncovered in the church, and the reason why they had to show off their fried hair which cost them dearly. Organize the women together or rather form a women committee and let the pastor see no reason to oppose your demand. Besides, you members are the owner of the church. Whatever the whole members agree upon, the pastor will not say otherwise. This enticing and compelling power will also lay a terrible yoke and burden upon their women. It will also make them to believe that salvation of their soul, is only based in their heart. It will convince them to also believe that body appearance doesn't matter to God. I will also send special agents to various churches as their pastors and leaders in their church, to counsel them wrongly concerning this fact. They will convince and counsel them concerning women's dressing, that their appearance doesn't count before the Creator, but only their hearts. Fools, fools, dumb masses, ha 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 ha. Go and cause confusion in the families of the pastors and their wives and children. I will send Demon Billion to accompany you for that task. He will assist you to cause rioting confusion and commotion in those righteous churches, the members' homes of the believers. Go and cause great havoc, and bring asunder and break the homes and marriages of those believers and their pastors. Since most of them are not watchful nor prayerful, but always busy for personal and selfish interests. Walk on the streets, make sure you put on skinny clothes that will show all your shape, this is one of the arrows we can use to pollute the mind of those young men, in that man Christ. We will win them, once you get them, kill them, so that they won't have another chance for repentance. Go to the churches and make even the pastors lust after you. I will allow those of you assigned to holiness preaching churches to put on skirts, but must be skinny and transparent, fools who called themselves pastors will not be able to correct you since you are not putting on trousers, fools, expose your boobs in the church. 
whosoever fails in this assignment, consider herself dead by grinding. Pretend to be one of them, as the damsel girl possessed with the spirit of divination also did. Acts 16 16-18, Now it happened, as we to prayer, that a certain slave girl possessed with the spirit of divination met us, who brought her master much profit by fortune telling, this girl followed Paul and us, and cried out saying, these men are the servants of the Most High God, who proclaim to us the way of salvation, and this she did for many days. But Paul greatly annoyed, turned, and said to the Spirit I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her, and he came out that very hour. I'm sending some of you to go and work in TV and radio stations. The word of immoralities, immoral and unclean programs should be viewed by the masses all the time. I'm sending some of you to be musicians, introduce many dirty words into your music, like Saint Janet of Lagos Nigeria did in all her albums, sing Christian music and dance like Shakira. Break like Michael Jackson in the church, those fools that are not watchful will fall into our trap, ha 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 ha. Many of you are friends to these new born again brothers and sisters. Now you must get even more closer to them now with these cosmetics. They can never resist you, foolish people, they think they can overcome your seductive power with their prayers, fools, fools ha 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 ha. We will get them, make yourself cheap for men. Destroy peaceful homes. I hate happiness. Break homes. The fools will focus on their village witches, and accuse their neighbors for their downfall. I need more blood of pastors and evangelists. Make sure you seduce them with your charming spell in your eyes, and body shape, and lure them to have sex with you, and place tube on them. When the altar is polluted, the spirit of that righteous man will depart from them, and the church will become dirty. Appear to them in dreams, dress like a harlot to the church, your bosom, boobs, and your laps are enough to get them, make sure you always sit where their eyes will see you. Join the ushering unit or group. Go to their office to greet them if they prove stubborn to look at your side during the service. Once they see you, they will be confused while preaching, from then on. Their sermons and prayers will have no effect. Cat walk around the church. Even if the coward who can't approach women sees you, they will run to a hidden place and start masturbating, ha 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 ha. Once they gaze their eyes on you, your image will fill their heart, and the fools will lust after you. It will only take the power of that righteous man, Jesus Christ, to get you out of their mind and to fight against such lust. Whenever they prove too difficult, extinguish their fire through a gift, giving of foods, envelopes, clothes, and many gifts. You can extinguish their fire from there on, when they go for three days fasting, then you must go for nine days to counter their fasting. Whenever you need urgent blood, just walk among people who dress or use any of our materials, perfumes, lipsticks, jewelries, hair attachments, relaxers, rings, tattoos, and many more, just place your tube on them and drink their blood. Drink the blood of whosoever loves to dress like you. Destroy new marriages and increase divorces. Make the youth and children to disturb whenever a sermon is going on. Make babies cry. Compel the youths to chat and browse with their mobile phones while the sermon is going on. Possess the children with biscuits and sweets you give them in the church and make them rebellious against their parents. Initiate the children, youths, adults, and anyone available around you. And also anyone that has intercourse with you. We need more agents to replace the escaped ones. Inflate the drummers to beat demonic beats. Join the choirs to introduce unclean music and dance in the name of Christian music. You men, make sure you entice the ladies in the choirs with money and everything I have given you. Put on body hug, expose your chest, put on knickers to church, sleep with them, 
and you ladies, allow the men in the choir to sleep with you. We must pollute the church. But for Christian ladies, appear to them in dreams and review to them as their future husband, the fools will be carried away by dreams, and will not pray further. As for you pastors, you need more members and I've given them to you, allow members to dress the way they like to church, introduce adultery into the church by divorcing your wife and remarrying another. Never allow any of your members to cover their head in church. Tell the women, the importance of exposing their hair uncovered in the church and the reason why they had to show off their fried hair which cost them dearly. And don't forget to counsel the women, the importance of their heart toward God, that their body appearance doesn't count before God. Tell them to dress anyhow to church and in their homes. Salvation is only in the heart not by appearance ha 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 ha. I'm recommending trousers for your choirs. Salvation, holiness and righteousness must be taken far from your lips. If you go against this order, I will disgrace you and kill you. Remember how I disgraced some pastors in Nigeria and Ghana. Just tell them to give their lives to that righteous man. Once they do that, they can keep enjoying their lives in sin, that their name is already in the book of life. Preach eternal security, inspirational and motivational gospel to them, more members will flow to your church. I have fortified you all, with more powers to perform miracles, to heal the sick, the blind, the lame, the deaf, and also make the dead to rise. Yes. You can do it. We have discovered a way to manipulate all the works, signs, and miracles done by that righteous man, Jesus Christ. We can counterfeit all his deeds. But we are yet unable to counterfeit his blood. All those healings, signs and miracles you are going to perform has a special price to pay. You must sacrifice one of your members yearly and must not eat any food prepared by a woman. Whenever you perform any miracle, such disease or infirmities will fall upon another person, but not immediately so as not to be suspicious. You are free to mention the name of that righteous man Jesus Christ during your preaching and healing process. We have counterfeited everything since people are getting suspicious. Many people are now going to church for prosperity, miracles, money, husband, wife children, green card, blessings, promotions, employment and others. Therefore deceive them with all this worldly pleasure, luxury and possession of life. Let them see no reason to pursue or lay treasure above. But advise and counsel them, that heaven is already here on earth. Go to the TV programs, cable network and advertise your ministry. The dumb masses will rush to your church, and leave their true present church of fellowship. Now I'm sending you all. Go and work for me. I'm always with you all. Whenever you encounter any danger with a powerful man of God, just make a sign and I will come for your rescue. I am Queen of Queen. The Queen of the Coast. I am Queen Jezebel. The Mother of the Earth. The Mother of all Mothers. I am the Prince of Persia, and I always appear with different forms and with different names to people. I am no window, and shall not sorrow, ha 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 go go, and defile the whole earth. I am always with you all.